What city, uh, what city you in, bro? Appreciate y'all coming through, man. Oh, sorry. So, yo, man, just had to uh, do a little quick. These little... niggas smoking spice, y'all. Had to do a quick little, uh, little intro on um, track. You know what I'm saying that was uh, from your boy out in Chicago, man. Chicago. Uh, Xavier Holiday. That was called Nocturnal. You know what I'm saying, but um, killing Xavier. Yeah, yeah, man, keep amazing. doing your thing, keep doing your thing. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Francisco Phoenix, the Rolling Stoner, man. I'm here with my boy, Sonny Cartel. Okay, usually he, like, chimes in right there, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, we elevated right now, so please you excuse us. You call me that green stuff you put on nachos? You call you something chived in? I'm a little lost right now. Okay. Hey, I lost me on that one, I'm saying. We also got Sticky Hippie in the building, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, she don't really want to be on camera that much, but she is here in the building. And we got Mango Little Bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, so that side, we are here. This is uh, June 22nd. Uh, here for another current events segment, man. Uh, you know, shit is still uh, fire in the streets and shit. You, you know, smile on me, man. Shit is still, uh, yeah, man. I haven't been able to work out as me. much, bro. Yeah, like, looking like me, that's ridiculous. Boom, like for real, for real, man. Like this is embarrassing, yo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with you, right? <laughs> I fuck. With uh, the funniest in the city. <laughs> I fuck with the funniest in the city. <laughs> But nah, um, shit's been going though, you know, with current events, we gotta like, you know, stay updated and shit like that, man. Uh, what, um, the COVID is back, apparently, y'all. I'm treating anything like a rap battle. I feel you, right? <laughs> yeah, this shit got a beat to it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but nah, COVID is back, man. Like, how how y'all feel about COVID that, man? Thing. In, in the midst thing. of like, you know, the protesting and like, you know, us like, you know, standing shit. up. Black Power, Black Lives Matter, all Black Lives Matter, like, you know, the whole movement's going on right now. How do y'all feel like, you know, they are, well, they're saying, you know, COVID is now back on a second rise. Like, how y'all feel, man? About the Black Lives or back to COVID? <laughs> COVID. How do I feel about COVID? They're uh, saying Arizona is like the, the worst state with the, the COVID. Not that it has like the most, but just percentage-wise, they're saying that like, 
Arizona's the worst. Yeah. Uh, they, they they are saying that shit, but it was like, remember, didn't they say that the heat was supposed to like fuck it up or something like that? I don't know. And like now they're saying like you know Arizona's the worst, but it's hot as shit out here, man. It's like 107 degrees. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I haven't che- I haven't checked the weather. And shit. What? I haven't. Yeah, I haven't checked the weather exactly of how hot it is out here. It's but hot. Like, you from up north, bro? Like you know what I'm saying? What part uh, up north, G? But yeah, so it's like. With the heat and shit like that, you would see, you would expect it to like you know, kind of burn out and shit. Uh, for everybody who hears that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, we got our dog uh, kind of going off right now. There's a lot of like ruckus outside. You know what I'm saying? It's a so outside. yeah, it's, it's a lot of ruckus going on outside, man. Hope it's y'all safe outside. and shit, man. But yeah, so um, you guys should shave my goatee. I don't know, man. You might just become a hose of man. Uh, do that. COVID. Oh, so you gonna just keep the mustache or uh, like what's either. that? Maybe I might just keep the mustache. Uh, <laughs> doing the Carl's Winslow and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do? Yeah, man. My pops actually used to uh, rock just a uh, straight mustache and shit, man. Like, happy Father's Day. That's also yeah. Another, happy dude. Father's Day. Happy belated Father's Day. Like you know, I guess. Uh, to all the fathers out there doing their thing, man. Yeah, somebody like, you love, appreciate the Happy Father's Day to you, Sonny. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we appreciate you for being a strong, like, you know, uh, <laughs> male dad. <that bro. laughs> <laughs> strong black woman in the community. I appreciate you for being strong. I'm fucking with you, man. Yeah, we, we just fucking around a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I actually lost my dad last year. Oh, man. So I dropped that gym on the podcast, but it happened. Dude. But, you know, I appreciate everybody with a father and seeing that love being spirit is a beautiful thing. Yo, you know, man. A lot of people are supporting their pops, you know, so. Yeah, All man. you kings out there, do your thing, man. Listen to Future today. Do you. Yo, listen to Future? Oh, my God. You ain't shit, man. Is that what's B-Hunt? Yo, what's going on, B-Hunt? That tuning in, G. Yeah, man. Little town called yeah, Winslow. Yeah, man. Winslow, Arizona. I ain't, yeah, I ain't never heard about that, man. Hey, thanks for tuning in, man. Hopefully you, 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 uh, you know, if I, you if gonna burn out with us, like, like you know what I mean? Put all the blame on you. Yo, hey, B Hunt, man. Yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, brother? <laughs> also, yo, we wanted to uh, talk about during during this whole like little protest and like this movement, like everybody's like seeming to get on cold. Is like you know, uh, Stinky Hippie had actually mentioned this earlier that. It seems like there's like a flux of like firecrackers like out there like being used at this time. Like what? Yeah, what, what was going on with that? Yeah, thing so hippie? like not necessarily in Arizona, but like all of my friends have been talking about how there's been like a crazy number of uh, like firecrackers and shit going on in their areas, and it's all like oh, of course you know my friends are black, but like I think it's just in black areas. Yeah. And so from what I've seen, like, on Twitter and shit, like, people have been talking about how, like, white men have been popping up in, like, black trucks yeah. and ice cream trucks selling firecrackers that, like, are worth, like, $500, $600, and they're selling them for, like, a dub. Like, for, like, $20 and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, and so, basically, I don't know, there's just this. It sounds like a setup, yeah. Like, yeah, it yeah. doesn't, like, like it's an abnormal amount. Because, like, I know, like, personally, like, I remember growing up in L.A., like, especially after 4th of July, and then for, like, a week later, it would be crazy fireworks. Yeah, so they yeah. were still trying to get rid of all the fireworks they had. But, That's like, true. it's not even 4th of July yet. Like, nah, not, yeah, it's, it's like, not. I get, yeah, like, they're starting to sell them, but, like, they've been complaining about it since, like, the George Floyd, like, protest yeah, yeah, yeah. started. You know what I mean? Like, They've been they've been it's, setting up bricks and shit too and like so it's like they've been they've been, putting they've been out setting up like you know they've been they've been doing like little mm-hmm. little little low key fuck shit you know what I mean and it's just like uh just to hear that the firecrackers is now another element like you know and it's like I don't know I don't know if, uh, for y'all who don't or haven't grown up in like you know uh, uh the ghetto or you know the urban neighborhood whatever the fuck you want to say like the hood like you know um. Sometimes you can't like you know dis- distinguish which uh, is a firecracker or gunshots and shit. So like you know what I mean for the people who don't think that's like you know that's not too big of a deal. It's like yeah, it kind of is. Like you know what I'm saying we need to know like you know what I'm saying what are gunshots and what is like firecrackers and shit. You know what I'm saying they're gonna be masking like a lot of like fuck shit that they're gonna like trying to pull off 
and be just saying, oh, it was just firecrackers going off. And meanwhile, like, two weeks later, we find out, like, you know, it was a mass shooting and shit, like, you know. So, I think that is uh, very decisive, uh, divisive, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that is... definitely an agenda. Yeah, like, like you know what I mean? Why are y'all selling this? firecrackers right now for $20? When they made, and especially in Cali too, like, you know what I'm saying? Being from LA, like, they made certain uh, firecrackers illegal and shit. Now they, like, you know what I mean? Trying to get this shit off. Like, yeah. This shit is kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, like, go off. Like, how you feel about that, though, man? Like, have you heard about it? Have you heard about, about like, and yeah, and just like the different, like, um, they like staging different informants or like agents, uh, there at the protest to like kind of like start shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, through, uh, throughout the protest and shit. Like, there's been a few, uh, cases where people will like catch him, like, hey, nah, no, don't bring that shit over here. But like, this happens a lot, though, you know what I'm saying? What, what are your thoughts on, like, what's going on with this? Um, I've only been to the protests to as far as when I was mobile, able to pick people up who needed rides home. I didn't risk my black life to prove a point, and I'm not trying to prove a point. I'm trying yeah. to show that we're powerful, you know. So I think that uh, the the violent protesting. I heard about the I heard about the things y'all were naming the fireworks and the bricks, and what I heard about it is that uh, those people have been caught by usually. Black civilians yeah. who have seen them and like, yeah. man, man handed them up, and uh, from there, you know, uh, violent protests and stopping peaceful protests and continue, but the media stopped covering that. You know, and it was just a thing while it was happening, and most of the time it was like white people in blackface or uh, just white people, man, in general. So I mean, like that ain't my people out there doing that. So you know, be damn, it's like. But it's like the thing is, it ain't us. But it's like being portrayed as it is us. But it's the friendly you know liberal. Saying? The friendly liberal is also a racist. Like just because you could like side with a black person doesn't mean you like you not you can't be racist. You know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes you be doing things for your own agenda and just take a side until that agenda is over. Yeah. You know. Right. Uh, I can't. I can't dispute that. Like you know what I mean? Like. So. There's I can't. a lot of people out there. That's what I mean. That protest and shit is yeah. very like political. I think like yeah, it's a so. political move. It's not as simple as just going out there and walking. It's about seeing what mm. obstacles in your way, being prepared. They uh, they was a target. Somebody stopped selling people milk to stop the tear gas and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, you know, that fucked up systemically. Like in general, I'm like, well, somebody trying to protect them says you gonna stop them from the item they need. Like I'm like, mm. that's, that's stupid. You know what I mean? To me, I think like if I'm in pain, if I need something, like I need it, ain't like. Not negotiable. If you had, it's like I need that. Like, yeah, I feel you. I, I I agree with that. My my question is to both of you guys. Like, do you feel that protesting is effective? Yeah. Yeah. Like peaceful good. protesting. I think if it weren't for the protests that occurred, I don't think there would have been as much pressure. Because, like, I mean, you gotta think of protests as like the physical ones like in the street but then there was also like the like online how do you, exactly like the online protest like there was a lot of pressure on like thousands of businesses yep. to fucking say something you know what I mean when otherwise they wouldn't have and they haven't before in the past like there's been a lot of pressure to like have people financially contribute to like you know what I mean building these people out who were actually on the streets and then like putting like just money towards like different organizations that are like for the cause and shit like defunding the police and shit like that so yeah. I don't know like I feel like that presence has to be felt in order for change to be made because if people don't feel uncomfortable then things will continue to stay the same you know what I mean yeah. so that's how I feel about it but I get that there are people who feel like protests don't do anything and like I don't know how you could feel that way. Maybe they don't see, like, the connection, but, like, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I feel that, man. Ooh, this nigga hippie, man. <laughs> when she chime in, she chime in. Really, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Uh, what, what, what do you, what, how do you feel, though, about, like, with all this, like, do you feel like protesting is necessary? Do you think that, like, uh, yeah, it's being effective? Because, like, uh, a lot of people want like major, like what white society has been trying to focus on is the rioting 
and like you know what I mean the looting and shit like of the protest like or that may have stemmed may have stemmed from the protest like you know what I mean but it, it could have been the evidence shows otherwise like, exactly you know what I'm saying but it looks like you know it was just white folks out there like looting and shit but um like do y'all feel like you know what I mean like protesting is is effective like Sonny like we got yeah, oh uh, yeah of course I feel like any type of protest is uh, useful and I feel like uh yeah I feel like it's a responsibility of people's you know it's not just you know useful it's required of people in a time of demanding change to state how they feel and the form they want to express said best is protest and like Nothing's actually wrong. I feel like if they're not like uh, demanding arms on people, like when our country made young men go to war, right? Or they're not like you know forcing people to get vaccines. Like these people are yeah. simply saying, "I want uh, justice for somebody who was murdered," you know, or saying, you know, some people saying Black Lives Matter, which is you know validating my skin matters. You know, people have a lot of different reasons why they're doing this. But the common thing is that you know. People have something to say, like, y'all made that an amendment regardless at what time that it was a freedom to do that. And if not do that, then to bear arms. It makes no sense not to go get a weapon, right? You should not feel protected because somebody else has a weapon. You should go get a weapon, you know, and if it's legal to carry arms in your state, then do that, like, yeah. personally. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. By protesting? Yeah. I feel like, uh, it's it's effective to a point, like um, uh, protesting. Yes, definitely is uh, an effective tool, but it runs its course at some point because like if actions aren't changed, it's just like you know people are just out there, just yeah, just kind of following. Because like sometimes protests are kind of built in within the system, like we're expecting you to do this and everything like and this is actually going to boost our numbers because right. you guys like right. fucked up our stores and shit like that we got insurance we got stocks in this shit like you know what i mean so it's like and it's it's like yeah you protest to a point i think the looting is very necessary i think yes that is but then it should change into which I feel like is the what's happening as today protests, which I feel like is the difference uh, between majority of protests that we've seen. It's like it is. It seems like it is starting to move into a uh, political change at this moment. Like people are really, really like being shaken up. Like there ain't no like way that people are going like kind of fuck us out of like different like deals and shit. Like because. <clears throat> I don't know. If you look back into, like, you know, uh, the Martin Luther King march and all that, it's like even he at the end said, like, I believe that I'm leading my people into a burning house. Like, you know, so it's like it's got to be real, real effective change, and it has to be necessary, and it has to be for the black community. It's like, you know what I'm saying, point blank, period. Uh, all, like, all black lives matter. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, gay, straight, like, you know, male, female, like, within the black community if you black it needs to like you know what i mean be effective for you like this change so it's like i mean it's it's hard to talk about so it's like yeah i'm, I'm definitely for it though i'm for like uh protesting but i agree with that yeah um yeah whoo man uh yeah um let me see here there's a few other topics i don't really got my phone right now um the uh nba is about to start back up but it is only being played in what, Orlando, Florida, uh, at the uh, Di- Walt Disney. Is it the Walt Disney World or Disney Mansion? World. What the fuck was it like? Something. Yeah, I don't know. Like Walt Disney pretty much is sponsoring the NBA uh, this next or this season coming back. And like you know, some people are for it, some people are against it. Some players are playing, some players aren't. There's only limited teams, like it sounds you know, like you know what I'm saying, like Fuck but <laughs> but the NBA is coming back, bro. Like, like, go ahead, yeah, please dive into that, man. Like, cause niggas dying. That's what we just talked about. Fuck the NBA, and that's how some players feel. Too. Yep. Like, I'm sorry, I feel like they're just hearing it initially. I didn't even know that was happening, but fuck the NBA. Yeah. 
Cause that's how you feel. Like, yeah. That's all I like shit going on. Like yeah. that's that's okay. Like stop being so self centered for a second. Like you realize <laughs> like you not doing something make a lot more difference than you doing it. People gotta force their attention somewhere. People even noticing shit dying down. But like some people are making the argument, you know, that like mm-hmm. the same way you need like a comedic relief, like sports provides like a a relief to it doesn't society and so like sports the reality of what's going on. Sports is gambling. Sports is people picking bets. On Why do you say that, man? Fantasy like, sports football. is gambling. Like, fantasy fo- from fantasy football <coughs> to real football, which is people picking like, versus two Not teams. everybody, though. Some people. I'm not saying everybody. Some little kids is just watching it just to just get away. Just mm-hmm. because that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's their dream to watch LeBron James or Ooh. whoever it is. Like, not saying that I agree. I'm just saying, like, that is an argument that some people make. And, like, it's okay. not that bad. I, I mean, still think people, people should be able to have that getaway still, because if you only have constant, I don't want to say stress, but like, you know what I mean? Like, why is somebody dying stress though? It's stressful to see George Floyd have but why is somebody. That? No, I'm not saying from your opinion, I'm saying why is that like it's stressful? Okay, it's mm-hmm. stressful because it's a systemic issue niggas die every day that's a part of life niggas are going somebody's dying right now somebody exactly. will die today that's not the problem the problem is it is happening from white cops different types of race cops okay. that are being tried and are okay. being let have their job in a year shit like that right mm-hmm. that it's the reason it's news and it's headline it's not just but that was also happening when the NBA was still, like, in effect. And it was like, already a problem, but that's an issue. But, but so, so what I'm saying is the only thing that's changed was the coronavirus. Like, nothing actually changed as far as, like, the police killing black I'm people. That's been that. a constant. So that. why should the NBA, again, from your point of view, like, if that's right why now, you should Because right now these people have a voice. Because right now these people have a voice. Okay. That's, that's something they didn't have at first. They had something that was covered up by rap, uh, reality TV, uh, basketball, um, cops, the show, yeah. uh, everything on TV, everything dialed off the fact that people are being that's kids in cages. Uh, what is it? Yamin right now is on the verge of uh, what is it? Uh, famine, mm-hmm. being famine. Yep. Um, why is entertain? I always say that, and my 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 friends have always called me weird. Like you know, I play sports. I used to watch sports. But I always tell people, what's the entertainment in watching men beat themselves up? What's the entertainment in music? What's the entertainment? Cause like. It's not entertaining for me to pour my soul out, but it's something I do to educate, you know, to... I feel like if you can learn from something, it's beneficial. Or you can learn from comedy. What you going to learn from sports is to... You can learn from sports. You can definitely learn from sports. Being Uh, coached. No, you can learn from being coached. No, you can learn a lot of things from sports. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, picking up, like, bigger people are typically going to be stronger than, like, the little guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, like, as a child, you can, like, pick up, like, okay, this person is fast. Like, you know, he's not going to get caught by this person. Like... You can pick up things by by sports, not just by being coached, by watching sports. I agree that, yeah, it's fucked up because, like, majority is motherfucking white people or just people, like, Amazing. now just gambling, like, like, on, like, sports. I'm, yes, I'm like, saying, like, I like, agree, but, like... Do you feel like sports can teach you about systemic racism? About what? Systemic racism. What's going on in the world? Is yes. It- all the niggas, the, uh, all the niggas excelling in, in, like, all the fucking, like, sports we have. And then when they get out of, uh, in the streets and shit... In the uh, interviews and shit, they still getting treated like niggas. But like, yo, we glorify these niggas on the courts or on the fields and shit like that. But when they get back home, like they just the same. Like, Not only that, like the NCAA. Yeah, I, 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 how, yeah, like, sports these definitely show are, you this like, shit. Benefiting off of the backs of these fucking but black men. Like, well, but that's what I'm saying. Why that's we, hella racist. I, un- like, I understand what you're saying. Like, why are we like, doing that? I understand you saying like, but like the, the argument, cool. but the argument though is oh, not like same position. There are some, there are some, uh, like Kyrie Irving is saying, like, yo, okay, like, if we come back, let's uh, start our own shit, where we're making our own money and everything like that. Would you see something like that as being that beneficial? Makes, that makes sense. That. That's what, that's that something to fight for. That's, that's 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 the reason. I under, I yeah, I understand. Back. Not that's the like, reason I would start back. Cause systemic racism is still going to exist in a company or a brand or something that's already been there. You're not going to make the rules just because they took a break and came back. But oh yeah, we gonna listen to you now. No, they already have a system. If you create your own system, then yeah, you create how how it functions. You make your own money, and then you make. So yeah, you you agree with that? But that's why Kyrie Irving is like saying like he don't really want to come back right now because of all this shit, and like. Can you can't come back to the same shit and get dis disrespected, disrespected, stop like. 
Yeah. It's not. Like, but how do you how do you feel about what's going on right now? Like, you know what I mean? Like I think it's always been going on. It's not like a right now thing. I think it's always been going on. I mean, like with within the protesting as well, like cuz like you do see a lot of black and white out there. I'm not saying that like, you mm-hmm. know, I'm not caping for like all white people cuz I understand racism is like a real thing. I'm saying like as of this generation, <clears throat> they pretty much grew up like uh some of us that have like, you know what I mean, on like hip hop and shit like that and like this no, is I'm this is I'm intentionally racist. This is I, I, I understand I that, like you know what I mean. I, 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 I get I get I get it. That's but my like, type of racism. I don't like them. So, but like uh, you you hang with cool ones, but yeah, 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 I'm saying like, but like you always got your uh, P's and Q's up. I get you. Uh, but like this generation is totally different from like you know the generations from before, like all the older generations, because we have the so. internet, because we had hip hop. Because so. we, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Like, okay, for sure. I want to say like I, I'm not, like I said, I don't want to sound weird, like I'm caping and shit, like. But white people now can dance, like you know what I'm saying, like you know, not not all white people, like you know what I'm saying, but it's like, I don't know. you see, like no, I mean like nah, yeah, yeah, but like you have more like white people who can like kind of have more of a rhythm and shit, like you see more of that shit, you see more like motherfuckers like sagging they uh. Like jeans and shit getting tatted up, like has backwards and shit. I'm not saying that they can't use a white card whenever they want to. I'm not saying that. Okay. But I'm saying, like, you see them, like, trying to relate a little bit more with relate. black culture. How like, do you, you know relate to black culture? You ain't got all white people who uh, grew up with, like, white, with quote unquote white privilege. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get some white people who are like treated like just like niggas are and shit too, and they realize that shit, even though they can play the white card and shit. That's what I'm That's saying. Crazy. Like you got a lot of these kids like um out there like you know what I mean. But there's really, no card. Really, like, can, there's no card I can play. I can't pick from no like pocket and like use something. That's yeah. privilege. Yeah. Like even like if you can play the white card, that's privilege. It's not something you know you can use, but you can't use it. Yeah. I mean, I understand the privilege aspect, but, like, I'm saying, like, there are some who understand that, like, yeah, they have the privilege, but they still broke as fuck. They got the same problems. They mom's sick as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? She got diabetes from uh, bad health. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? She yeah, got to put up with uh-huh. with the life, like, issues more so. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they can't They can't get... Uh, well, we don't know our heritage. You understand? Know like, we don't, we don't, we don't... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I... We don't we don't know our heritage because of, uh, somebody took us from a land. It's not the fact that we had problems; it's the fact that we didn't have a chance to identify ourselves in yeah. our own language. Like that's that's it's, that's it's bigger than like it's bigger than like not as many of us was uh, transported over here though. Like that's a, a misconception as well. Like you know what I'm saying? A lot of yeah. us are from uh, the American lands and like original people from the American lands. All right. So it's like I understand that aspect. Like I'm I'm not I'm not denoting that shit I know my black uh, like you know what I mean identity is just seeing like cause humanity like trumps all type shit right mm-hmm. but like you know what I'm saying niggas is in the crisis do you not see like kind of a younger generation kind of like of the white people so called like you know what I'm saying like do you not see them out there in the streets right now like kind of like that's what I'm saying like I'm not like saying that. like all of them are like. Yes, and I think they they're useful in that way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that like identifies us as cool. I don't think that makes us like relatable. I think that means they realize the injustice. They, they like, see you, more. You do like, something that's wrong. Like, you're, not super, you're not a superhero. You're just doing something you're supposed to do in the first place. Like I'm I feel not, like I'm not mad. At, I'm not mad at you. I'm just like not congratulating you on some shit you should have been doing. Right. Like and that's, that's not that's not what I'm saying. Like, but I'm I go, like I go, to, I go to so many jobs of me being a restaurant, I go to so many jobs yeah, yeah. like if it's not the black person being treated like shit, trust me, it's a Hispanic person. Right? Of course. So me as a black person, I always stand up for like my Hispanic my brown people, like when I go to work when <clears> these, <throat> sometimes these white people be thinking these Hispanics or like that's not Mexicans or Latinos don't fucking speak English or they're stupid and they talk to them that way and I always like tell them like, Oh no, you're the dumbass because this person understands exactly what the fuck you're saying. And you're also talking to him like a baby. You do like an infant Mexican voice. Hey, Weevil. Nigga, he understands you in English. Nigga, like, regular yeah. tone. You, you you talking, nigga. Like, and I'd be like, same thing with us. Where it'd be like, uh, something I don't want. They, I don't want you to get mad. They, I like, white people, white people are fucked up, like, like, in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, 
You don't but hate like, somebody that regularly. There's like racism that? within like our culture, within Hispanic culture. There's our race, culture. like you our know what I'm saying. Like, so it's just colorism. like colorism, colorism. more colorism. so. Yeah, colorism. Thank you, thank you. Like I colorism. appreciate colorism. It's not even race. It's that's colorism within racism every culture. Thing. This, and that's that's the thing too. It's like they have white trash. That's that's one more so saying. They do, like they you know what I'm saying. Like that. I agree with that. They have white cool. people who that don't. Really I'm right. not saying that we cool and everything, it's but like, you've been through the same shit I've been through. Don't exactly. Make cool. Don't make us cool. Exactly. Though. I don't you know what I'm saying? With every up. with every culture, it's like. But I'm saying like during this generation now, like during the time that is we have more? internet, yes. I feel like we have yes. more people is, exposed yes. to yes. like what we what's really more, going on. That's what I'm saying. People. But like we, also, with the internet going on in the hip hop era, like I feel like more people are really exposed yeah, to like what one, yeah. what black people are going through. That's more so what I'm saying. Hip hop is a great. It's like it's with great them song. growing up on that shit, like you know, what I'm saying? even if they were trying to fake the funk and shit like that, somehow it rubbed off on these motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. It's like yeah, we got Mac Miller. We will see. Know. Like I'm not saying like I'm predicting the future. Like you know, what I'm saying we gonna bond together. Nah, but like at the moment, I do see like you know what I mean. If you like you know. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see though, man. But like, everybody keep your P's and Q's up, especially if you, uh, you know, black out here in America. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just going crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to play too. friendly with these white folks. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Like, look, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just like don't remember where you came from. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> That's all I'm saying. Make money. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Bring it back to the crib. Like, you know what I mean? Do whatever you got to do, bro. Make this shit happen, man. Black people, we we taking over. Uh, This has been, yeah, another current events. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of like a random uh, tangent. Like, you know what I mean? We, we went kind of wild. Uh, Man, yo, can y'all please let the people know uh, where they can find y'all? You know what I'm saying? What we got. Which I got going on and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, wherever the stimulus check is. Hey, there we go. No. <laughs> Has that no. came yet? So, no, like, that's what I said. I'm going to go out of there. Stay playing. Stinky Hippie, yo. What's up? Yeah, you can find me at Stinky Hippie. Yeah, 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 I'm like, yo. You got anything, uh, anything coming out like new? Like, you got any art? Any like uh, 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 merchandise? Like, what's up? Oh shit! Yeah, y'all see that? That's man, <laughs> hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? Add it to the post. Hell yeah, man! That it's your thing, boy. Draco. It's your boy Francisco. I'm Phoenix, in the ghetto. Man. The Rolling Stoner, man. Yo, check us out. Uh, this is, uh, you know, um, our current event segment, man. We are our independent uh, radio station, man. We trying to bring it to you, man. We do need y'all support as much as y'all can. Happy New Year, yo. this shit gonna be changed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man. Changed. So, yo, we trying to just make that shit happen, bring, like, interesting conversations. As well, go ahead, tune in to our playlist, you know what I'm saying, that we drop every week. Uh, Wake and Bakes, you know what I'm saying, and uh, the music video series, you know what I'm saying? We, we bringing it all to you, man. Like, independent radio station, you know what I'm saying? So, please support us. Uh, Cash App right now at the moment is uh, dollar sign Francisco F-R-A-N-S-I-S C-O P. Uh, yeah, P. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, yeah, if, if, if you can, you know what I'm saying? We know times is rough right now. But yeah, uh, before we get up out of here, y'all got any last words? You know what I mean? Nah, not not a do not, 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 not one thing. All right, man. You well, yeah. Y'all be easy. Y'all be safe. Y'all, uh, you know what I mean. Take care of yourselves and shit. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We are gonna end off on this track right here. Alma Mater by my man Zeal. Shit. Yeah. It's never safe in the streets on the dark side. I feel away when it freeze trying to raise time. She got a couple bad bitches on her holler. I wanna swerve through the streets yelling Westside. I make her mad when I pull up with the doors wide. She got it bad.